Right, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the week five assignment. Okay, so basically, week five assignment uh, based on the previous uh, week four. One step further. So now instead of uh, using the pre-assigned variable with uh, some specific values, now we're going to uh, adaptively or dynamically enter the information from the keyboard when you run the program. Okay. Right. Um, so the first step you're gonna do some of the uh, variable declaration. Um, so we need the information for the first name and the last name. So basically, that's gonna be the string type. Uh, then we have the student ID, that integer type. The birth date gonna be date time. Uh, the grade gonna be decimal. And one additional right here that we call a string team. Okay. So this variable basically I uh, declared as a temporary variable to store the input from the keyboard. Uh, basically the information you enter from the keyboard is going to be a string type. But we can see that we need some kind of student ID, integer, date, time, and decimal, and so on. So this one right here is going to store the information temporarily and then convert it into a uh, corresponding type that we wanted over here, okay? Right, so the first part right here gonna declare the variables and uh, the second part is gonna uh, um, display some information in order for the uh, user running program know uh, what need to do uh, at that moment, okay? So the first one right here I gonna display I can display the um, string enter the first name because I want the user to enter the first name from the keyboard uh, when I run the program, right? So this one can display on the uh, console right here. I can have the first name right here. That's a variable I uh, declare over there. Going to be a take the input, uh, the read line right here, basically read the information you type uh, uh, on the keyboard. Um, and that information could be a, uh, assigned to the uh, first name variable right here. Okay, so whatever you type in and you hit, and you, you hit enter, uh, that, that string could be assigned to the first name right here. Right, so that's, uh, that's, that's uh, a little bit different from the previous assignment because previous assignment basically we assign a direct uh, string to this first name right here. So it means when you run the program, you cannot change anymore. But now pretty dynamic, uh, when you run the program, the user is going to uh, enter the first name uh, on fly. Okay. Right, so next I want you to do is that do the same syntax right here. So basically, you want to uh, have the user to enter the last name. So basically, you need to change this one. So it's going to be enter your last name. Okay, so that's uh, what I mean by HSS over there. And the last name right here, so that's a variable. You're going to take the input. So you're going to use the same right here. So you're going to use the console, a read line. Um, so whatever the user enter from the keyboard can be um, uh, assigned to the uh, last name variable. Okay, so that's uh, that's very simple. So it's using the same syntax for the first name and the last name. A little bit different down here because the type the variable could be a little bit different. So the student ID right here is at the integer, the birth date right here that's the date time, and the grade right here that's the decimal. So that's why. I uh, show you the uh, temporary variable right here in order to uh, make a, a little bit uh, clearer the process of the program. So uh, in order to uh, let the user know what the uh, user wants to enter, so you need to display the information. So basically here you can see uh, enter your student ID, right? Um, and then uh, the temporal right here could I take whatever you enter from keyboard. So how can you do that? You can use the same syntax right here. Console, read line. Okay, so whatever you enter number from the keyboard, uh, that could be assigned to the term right here. But uh, remember that the number you enter is considered as a string uh, number, not the, the integer type. 
okay so in order to get the integer tire here you need to convert it so the convert gonna be have this syntax right here so basically you convert the string uh, numbers uh, using the two uh, integer of uh, 32 bit right here you can use it 16 bit or so on so this one gonna convert the values uh, for example you enter one two three four so that's a string one two three four gonna be a convert into the the the, the integer number one two three four uh, and assign that value to student ID okay uh, you're gonna do the same for the uh, birthday right here so basically you need to using the read line to get the information to the time and then you convert the time into the date time right here uh, that can be assigned to the birthday the same for the decimal so you're gonna enter the decimal values to the TAM and then you convert the TAM into a two decimal uh, syntax right here and assign to display. Um, the other this uh, the other syntax to display the information could be the same. So you're using the right line to display the string uh, where some of the um, uh, information just combination of the string and the variable. So you can using the uh, 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 concatenation uh, operation right here that could be concatenate the uh, string uh, with the values of last name the values and uh, first name and you display that information or you can using the methods I introduced last week about the placeholders uh, like a zero and one to display the information of the variable right here ba basically it could be the same um, for the uh, birthday, it's going to be the same uh, like that uh, as the uh, syntax. So basically, right here is the birthday, it's the date time. Now we want to display with the string right here, it's going to transform it back. Okay. Um, I, I think, I think that, that's all. So uh, please uh, follow the instruction or uh, type the code in and um, uh, the test it. And I think, I think um, that, that's all for this week. So uh, take the screenshot of the uh, code and also the output, and then you will um, uh, come uh, press with the uh, uh, cs .cs file and so the report and upload to Dropbox. Right. So this week um, I'm not gonna go into very detail of the step, but uh, I think that introduction gonna give you some sense in uh, what the uh, syntax a command you need to put in in order to complete it uh, so um, just, just let me know if you have any question thank you and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video